guys how are you doing and welcome back to another video it's a different video i haven't posted a gym booty workout in a long time but if you follow me on instagram i'm always posting some form of workout there but anyway today i thought i would do like a gym focused booty workout that my workout i always start with some form of um i'm always on the treadmill but i get bored of just walking on the treadmill so i like to do some lunges with a with like a kickback but this is only after i've walked on the treadmill for at least five minutes and sometimes i walk on an incline so you know when you turn the the what's it i don't know what the proper term for it but I, yeah walking on an incline i'm guessing yeah that's what it's called so i turn like the incline up to about 11.5 and then i'll do some walking for about five minutes once i've done that then i tend to do the um, lunges with a kickback and all that kind of stuff this is a great way to get you know your legs warming up you always want to start with a proper warm-up before you go into a leg workout just to prevent injury and stuff like that i always bring some form of um resistant bands with me i have different types of resistant bands that i use in the gym and at home so here i am just doing some is it side to side what, what are they called like side to side sort of like trying to target my side glutes trying to open up basically just warming up my glutes waking up my glutes you know we spend most of our time sitting down so just waking them up and getting them ready to go getting them ready to go so i'm just showing you different ways that you can activate your glutes before you work out hence why i'm doing so many different glute activations here this is just to give you guys an idea of what you can do when you're in the gym and you're thinking oh how can i wake up my glutes you could do it this way the first thing i did on this particular leg day is squats start with a light a lighter weight to what i would normally lift when i do my first set just you know just to get things going and get the momentum going the thing with squats is that you definitely have to you know forming getting your form right is everything so i always I, getting your form right is very very important so i recommend lifting a weight that you find sort of comfortable but a bit challenging if that makes sense you don't want to overdo it and then you hurt yourself always find a weight that you find comfortable to begin with when squatting um so this is my this is the weight that i would normally this is the weight that's that i find a bit challenging but you know i can still manage to lift it if that makes sense And then I moved on to some um, pulsing squats with a resistant band as like a superset. This is just continued to burn my glutes out because as you know, squatting is not a way to build your glutes. Now moved on to some single leg RDL. Um, all the dumbbells were in use, so that's why I'm using one of those plates. I don't go too heavy with this because I've noticed that when I've gone heavier in the past, I feel quite a, my, my lower back starts to hurt, and that's one thing you don't want to do. So I've stopped going heavy with um, the single leg RDL. I think I use 10 kg. Yeah, the plate is 10 kg, so nothing too heavy. This is my favorite favorite move the hip thrust shout out to brett contreras if you guys don't know who he is you need to check him he's like the glute guy but my glutes have changed so much because of this move and 
and as you can see here i'm lifting like my this is this is like my heaviest that i'm lifting but whenever i do the hip thrust i typically start off light and then go to my heavy weight but if i show you guys that this video will be too long so this is my heaviest and i always pause at the top when i get to my last rep just to and I, when i'm pausing at the top i squeeze in my glutes for dear life and then i also supersetted that with just some um no body weight hip thrust with the hip circle and it feels like you're still lifting it, it's such a weird feeling when once you put the weight down and you lift with just your body weight it still hurts because i don't know maybe the pain of the weights that you've been lifting on it but it still hurts do not underestimate using your body weight to hip thrust after you've hip thrusted with weights um yes and then i moved on to some bulgarian split squats as well with these i don't go too heavy because when i start going heavy i feel like my quad tends to take over but when i go lighter i feel it more in my glutes and the best thing with this is to lean sort of slightly forward and make sure you're not got your knees are not going over your toes if i'm yeah make sure your knees are not going over your toes lean slightly forward and make sure lean slightly forward and really really get that stretch when you're going down these are killer they look so easy but they hurt so much so so much I'll, i'm gonna write every single workout in the description box and you know the amount of sets and reps that you could possibly do as well and you can also alternate this so for example if you're a beginner in the gym you can not use any weights with the bulgarian split squats i don't know what to call this next one i just it's but i'm basically targeting my side glutes but i i, I don't know what to call it i would like it's like a form of an abduct it's, it's an abduct it's an abduction movement i think it's an abduction movement because i'm sort of pushing my legs out so the next exercise are just some rdls with a kettlebell and also um a resistant band that i brought with me um with a resistant band this just this this just forces you because the the resistant band is sort of pulling you back so it forces you to really squeeze when you're coming up at the top i always try to push through my heel when i'm doing rdls and sort of use my glutes to come up as opposed to do not use your toes or don't push from do not use the front of your feet to push back up always use your heels and i have i had three different sets of weights so i went from heavy medium to low and then low medium to heavy and that's how i alternated those sets um until i finish that oh in case anybody is wondering where my leggings are from they are the athlete um revival leggings they are fantastic and one thing i like about them because normally gray leggings like even it obviously i i did sweat but it didn't the sweat dried quickly um with these leggings that's one positive the only negative with these leggings is that it rolls down quite a bit it rolls down quite a bit and i had to i, I found that i was pulling it up quite a lot but yes make sure you're pushing through your heel squeeze at the top i always squeeze at the top push through your glutes and then i moved on to some hamstring curl with a, a gym ball but yeah a gym ball and these look easy right towards the end of this i was actually getting tired by this time i was getting tired these look pretty simple but they hurt your hamstrings so much they are so painful i highly recommend i feel like a beginner can also do this as well you sort of gotta lift your bum up and pull with your hamstrings that's the best way i can describe it and then moved on to some cable kickbacks um like i i basically i was constantly going um to try and keep the tension in my glute so these as well it's very important to squeeze at the top so when your leg comes out you squeeze and also if you feel it in your lower back you could actually use one of those benches that you get in the gym and you can rest on that and then do i've got i've got a uh a workout post of me doing that in the gym if you check my instagram you'll see it in case you have like a bad back or you feel like your back hurts whenever you do these
Now the final exercise are these, um, I, I love these. I love these for targeting my outer glutes. They hurt. So one thing I've been doing lately is sort of doing one leg at a time. And when you do one leg at a time, you've got to lower the weight just to prevent injury. You don't want to be doing heavy weight while you're trying to push out on one leg. You could break something. So I always lower the weight when I'm pushing out one leg at a time. So I always, um, yeah, I lower the weight when I'm pushing out with one leg at a time. It's great, great. I, I'm so happy I, I, I tried, um, yeah, I'm so happy with the way I do this. Um, I, I, I highly recommend you try in one leg at a time. Then move on to I then move on to the standard I like to call it the open and close machine because <laughs> you just open and close so I do I do the first set sort of leaning forward your glutes um I hope I'm at, I feel like it targets different areas of your outer glutes when you sort of lean forward and lean back it's worth giving those two a go it burns And then I lean back and do it that way as well. There's different variations. You can sort of sit up a little bit and open and close. You can turn around and open and close. You have to find sort of what what works for you and you know how you you know what works for you and where you feel it targeting. Anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this glute workout. Like I said, I'll write everything in the description box. And also, um, yeah, I'll write everything in the description box. Thank you very much for watching and see you guys in my next video and one more thing oh yes one more thing don't forget to stretch it's very very important to stretch after you've worked out i'm not gonna lie i don't stretch out i don't stretch after every single workout but it's very very important to stretch but anyway i hope you guys have enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching see you guys in my next one bye